Good afternoon, everyone. And I'm excited to share a snapshot of what my research is with you all. So what I study is glioblastoma. And glioblastoma is a particularly rare cancer, a brain cancer specifically. And despite the fact that it is a rare cancer, it is considered a terminal cancer. Fewer than 12% of people who are diagnosed with glioblastoma survive to even one year after their diagnosis. So this is a huge problem because it might be rare, but these people are dying. So we don't know what causes glioblastoma, so we don't have any risk factors to tell people about or warn them to avoid. We only know that some people get brain cancer and then they die very shortly thereafter. So while we do have some treatment options, those treatments typically only shrink the tumor. And if they do eradicate the tumor entirely, it typically regrows very shortly anyway, so those patients still die. And there's very few treatments that are available for these patients. So there's many different people who are looking into how to increase the treatment options and improve the patient lifespans after diagnosis. That is partly what I do. What I look into is a specific protein called MET. And what MET does is it's a marker for the stem cells, for cancer stem cells specifically. So because stem cells, and MET specifically in stem cells, should only exist in stem cells, typically there's very high levels in the fetus or the placenta, for example. But in adult patients, which is the demographic most commonly diagnosed with glioblastoma, glioblastoma tissues that are taken from those, t from those patients very commonly have very high levels of MET, and we don't know why. So what I'm looking into are various alterations in MET, not just that there's high levels of MET, but also that this MET can be altered or mutated in various ways that cause the tumor to be more aggressive and invade further into the surrounding healthy brain tissue. My aims for these studies are to improve the future patient outlooks so that in several years when my studies are complete, hopefully shorter than seven, several years, they can look into my data and be able to better plan clinical trials so that the future patients will be able to better survive and have more of a higher likelihood of those treatments working than, if they, are, than they are right now. So what I'm looking at doing is improving the knowledge that we have about the cancer stem cell marker, which is MET, and looking into how that affects the tumor heterogeneity. Tumor heterogeneity is when different regions within the same tumor have different expression levels of various proteins and mutations. So while they might have one region that expresses uh, very high levels of protein that cause blood flow to increase and help grow the tumor, another region of that same tumor could have a mutation, for example, that causes the immune system to avoid that tumor and not, not eradicate it. So what I'm looking into is how the MET alterations and the MET mutations change both after treatment and before treatment, but particularly after treatment, because the tumors are regrowing anyway, so the treatments aren't working. So this is my research, looking into the MET alterations, and hopefully one day we'll be able to finish this. Thank you.